Locked and loaded. Body on the verge of complete revolution. Tyrant became thirsty for an exit from his colony of Crimson. Such a task would not be easy. It would take cunning and stealth to break the barrier beyond his own. He had concocted a mineral called Ripple Tide. It would take precise and extreme medical practice. Yet time inside his self-made hospice gave Tyrant enough time to learn from his discography of Vigil Orbs. This particular capsule reverse engineers a Vigalian's sarcophagi, which alters one's outer shell to the colors surrounding them. Particularly, this camouflages them, becoming invisible to the naked eye. This was essential for Tyrant to make a swift and painless escape from the colony. Slowly working his way towards the exit, not a single soul beholding his presence. However, to Tyrant's surprise, one more crept step through the gates. They lock down behind him. A siren is triggered, and Vegala is now aware of an escapee. Anxiety and caution fills Tyrant's lungs, which triggers something within his genetic code. Flipping in and out of visibility, his anxiety attacks are causing each atom in his body to destabilize. They've got him cornered, and in a last-ditch attempt, threw arsenals of crimson weaponry towards the citizens of Vigala, in the form of smoke grenades that slow civilians' motor systems down, locking them into slow motion. On a high-octane chase with seemingly no end in sight, Tyrant is able to evade line of sight, hiding behind a strange form of shrubbery called a Brintulia. They are healing plants. Any inhalation of the fumes will send you through floods of relaxation. It also removes harsh and unnatural chemicals from the body. This returns Tyrant to normal, but after wafting enough of the sweet nectar caused him to grow more unconscious until he fades to black. The things a man will do for the things he craves most, he would put his life on the line so he can live to see her one last time.